In this video, I'm going to write a polynomial function given the roots. So the roots are always what x is equal to. So in this first one, we have the roots are 2, negative 1, and 3. So we need to work backwards and figure out what the polynomial function originally was. So if x is equal to 2, we know that originally we had some factors, in this case three factors multiplied together. And it's always x plus or minus a number. And so you take it, x plus or minus your number and set it equal to zero. In this case, the first one simplified to two. So to get two back over to the same side as x, you would have to subtract two on both sides, which means it was originally x minus 2, and when we set that equal to 0, you would add 2 to both sides and you get x equals positive 2. So that's how you found the root. So all, whenever you work backwards to figure out what the factor was originally, you're going to always have the opposite sign in front of it. So where x equals negative 1, it was originally x plus 1, and then you found that x equaled negative 1. So for the last factor, it's x minus 3. Okay, and it says to find the polynomial function. So we're going to write f of x is equal to this value to represent that it's a function. Okay, so all I'm going to do is multiply. So I'm going to start with the first two parentheses, multiply x times x is x squared, x times 1 plus x, or 1x, Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So that's the first two parentheses multiplied together. Before I multiply it by the last parenthesis, I'm just going to simplify by combining like terms. We have x squared. I have this positive 1x minus 2x is negative 1x or negative x minus 2. Now I can multiply it by x minus 3. All right, just multiply x squared times x gives us x cubed. x squared times negative 3, negative 3x squared. Move on to that next term and multiply it by everything. Negative x times x, negative x squared. Negative x times negative 3 is positive 3x. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6 or plus 6. So now all you have to do is combine like terms and make sure it's in descending order. So largest exponent to smallest exponent. So we have x cubed, negative 3x squared minus 1x squared is negative 4x squared. 3x minus 2x is 1x or plus x and then plus 6. And I didn't bring down my f of x equals. So this is what my function is equal to. All right, so basically just multiply all of those factors together. Okay, so this one's slightly different. We have an imaginary number, 2i. So anytime you have an imaginary number, it's positive 2i, you always know that it's conjugate, in this case, negative 2i is also a root. So you always have to identify what is the other root if you have an imaginary number. So now I can multiply all my factors together. I first have to identify what they are. If I have x equals 0, that means that x is my factor. Anytime it's just 0, your factor was originally x because well, x is equal to 0, and well, it is 0, so that means we're left with x. Times x equals 4, meaning it was originally x minus 4 as our factor. x minus 2i and x plus 2i. Okay, I'm going to start by multiplying the first two together. x times x is x squared x times negative 4 is negative 4x. 
right? Then I'll multiply the second two just so I can, this is going to help me get rid of that i. All right, we have x times x is x squared. x times 2i is positive 2ix. Negative 2i times x, negative 2ix. Negative 2i times 2i gives us negative 4i squared. Okay, combine like terms before you multiply the two parentheses together. We have x squared minus 4x multiplied by, let's see, x squared 2ix minus 2ix. Together, these equal 0. They cancel each other out. They're opposites. Okay, so those equal zero, they go away. All right, so we have negative four times i squared, but remember, i squared is just equal to negative one. So this is the same thing as negative four times negative one, which is just positive four. Okay, so that was kind of our goal, what we needed to do, because you had, you had to make sure I identified that other root, if it's not written, their conjugates opposite signs, your imaginary number will go away. Now we can just multiply the last, these two parentheses. And remember it was okay that we multiply the parentheses out of order because multiplication, which is between the parentheses, in multiplication you can reverse the order, change the order around. All right, x squared times x squared, x to the fourth. x squared times four, positive four x squared, negative 4x times x squared, negative 4x cubed, and negative 4x times 4 is negative 16x. Make sure that largest exponent to smallest exponent. We need to rearrange the order. x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 16x. And because it's a function, we need to write f of x is equal to our polynomial function. All right, so we're gonna do one more where we still have an imaginary number, but this one's slightly different. So we have negative two, we have one, and we have three plus i. Anytime you have i, you also have to have the conjugate. So there's one more root. The other root would be three minus i. So you always have to have one with a plus, one with a minus, just like we had up here, one with a positive, one with a negative, in front of the i value. Okay, it doesn't need to be in front of this number. It needs to be in front of the i itself. So, we have x plus two times x minus one. All right, we have x minus, three plus i multiplied by x minus three minus i. All right, so what we're going to do next, I did put this in parentheses. I put minus because it was a positive value. Okay, so now I'm just going to multiply. x times x is x squared x times negative one, negative one x or negative x. Two times x is two x. Two times negative one is negative two. Okay, I'm just going to simplify over here before I start combining like terms. So I can save on steps. I have a minus outside the parentheses, so I need to multiply it by everything inside. We have x, negative times three is negative three. Negative times i is negative i. We have an x, negative times three is negative three. Negative times negative i is positive i. Okay, that was important that we did that. Next, combine like term. Our like terms are the middle two, x squared. Negative x plus two x is positive one x or positive x minus two. All right, now I'm going to multiply these last two together. So we need to start multiplying. x times x gives me x squared. x times negative three, negative three x. x times i, positive ix. 
Now the negative 3 multiplied by everything. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Negative 3 times i, negative 3i. All right, now multiply everything times i. Negative i times x, negative ix. Negative i times negative 3, plus 3i. Negative i times negative i is negative i squared. All right, we have a lot of like terms to combine. x squared plus x minus 2 times, well this is my only x squared value. All right, we have negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x. We have ix minus ix cancel each other out. One's positive, one's negative. All right. I have, I've already used this, this, and this. Let me use my i's. Negative 3i plus 3i. Opposites, they cancel each other out. So I have a plus 9 minus i squared. But remember, i squared is just negative 1. So x squared plus x minus 2 times x squared minus 6x. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. All right, now I'm going to multiply my two sets of parentheses. x squared times x squared, x to the fourth. x squared times negative 6x, negative 6x cubed. x squared times 10 plus 10x squared. Now multiply everything times x. x times x squared plus x cubed x times negative 6, negative 6x six squared, x times 10 plus 10x. Now multiply by negative 2, negative 2 times x squared, negative 2x squared, negative 2 times negative 6 plus 12x, negative 2 times 10 minus 20. All right, we have to combine like terms. We have an x to the fourth, negative 6x cubed plus x cubed is negative 5x cubed. 10x squared minus 6x squared gives us 4x squared All right, minus 2x squared gives us plus 2x squared. So I've used these ones. All right, down to 10x plus 12x plus 22x. Bring down the minus 20. And again, f of x is equal to our polynomial function. All right, that was a fairly in-depth one. Let's see if you can try a couple similar to ones that I've done. Once you're done, I'll go through the answers with you. All right, so we have x minus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 1. x times x gives us x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. We combine like terms to get x squared minus 2x minus 8, which is multiplied by x minus 1. Last, multiply those two together, and we get x cubed minus x squared minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 8x plus 8. Combine the like terms, and we get x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 8, and f of x is equal to that value. All right, there's our polynomial function. And the last one, we have one more root, which would be 2 plus i. So we have x plus 1 times x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2 minus, one, two minus i times x minus 2 plus i. All right, x times x is x squared, x 
times negative 3, negative 3x. 1 times x is 1x. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. I have to simplify each parenthesis. We have x, we'll distribute the negative, minus 2 plus i, because the negative times the negative is a positive. Here we have x minus 2 minus i. All right, I'm going to simplify this to x squared minus 2x minus 3, then distribute x squared, x times negative 2, negative 2x, x times negative i, negative ix, negative 2 times x, negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4, negative 2 times negative i is plus 2i. I'm going to have to go down below because I'm running out of room. i times x is positive ix. i times negative 2 is negative 2i. i times negative i is negative i squared. All right, we have some terms, like terms. Let's see. I have, we can combine those two. Let's see. Negative ix and positive ix cancel each other out. 2i and negative 2i cancel each other out. And i squared is just negative 1, so this is plus 1 because negative times negative 1 is positive 1. So I'm just going to rewrite with all my changes or all my simplification. x squared minus 2x minus 3 times x squared negative 2i or negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4x. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now I can multiply this last one. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth squared times negative 4x, negative 4x cubed, x squared times 5, plus 5x squared, negative 2x times x squared, negative 2x cubed, negative 2x times negative 4x is plus 8x squared, negative 2x plus 5 minus 10x, again I ran out of room, negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared, Negative 3 times negative 4x is plus 12x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So I need to combine like terms. We have our x to the fourth, and this is going to be f of x equals, right, negative 4x cubed minus 2x cubed is negative 6x cubed. 5x squared plus 8x squared is 13x squared minus 3x squared is 10x squared. All right, negative 10x plus 12x plus 2x. And last is the minus 15. So here's our final polynomial function.